Starman added a fight scene to one of his videos and it's kind of messed up. It's fucking wild. He's breaking into new territory. <clears throat> oh, thanks to the Prime oxidized. Yeah, we can talk about Lizzo now before I forget. I was reading up on it a little bit. So I think I've got most of the details on it, I, I think. I think it's tier one, John. So basically, she's now being sued by former dancers who allege that she was miserable behind the scenes. Very aggressive, oftentimes demeaning them. I believe one of the quotes was... or. I'm going to use the word quote here loosely because I'm paraphrasing, but one of the accounts said that she had made kind of like a passive threat about a dancer who was gaining weight, saying that, you know, people or people in this industry that gain weight get fired or something to that effect. So she would basically just berate and harass her team, which is crazy because she's always preached the exact opposite. And apparently she even had an entire verse in one of her songs that people are floating around and dunking on her for where she's like talking and referencing a lawsuit and how she doesn't care. So all of it's pretty, pretty weird. Pretty not good. Always got bad vibes from her. I am not super familiar with her. I've always heard her like preach positive things. But aside from that, I wasn't overly familiar with her work. But this seems so often be to be the case. People that try and put up this only positivity persona tend to be the worst people behind the scenes. Like the one that always pops into my head is Ellen. So it really does feel like they compensate for being assholes. Assuming all of this is accurate, this is still one side of the story, but it... It, it seems pretty thorough and pretty deep. James Corden is a sinister being. Yes. Yes, he is. But I wouldn't argue that he put up a positive persona. He had carpool karaoke, which is very close to just terrorism. So it's not like it's surprising to learn that he's an insufferable asshole behind the scenes. Lizzo allegedly made her employees eat bananas out of a vagina. Well, can't say I saw that report. But that is an interesting one. There are more essay allegations, too. Like, even within the last few hours since I last looked. It, maybe, I guess it's possible. There, there's there been a flood of information coming out about awful things Lizzo has said and done. She also had her dancers perform with bananas in their vagina as punishment. This feels like it's fraternity hazing. What are you talking about? I'm gonna look that up. I don't believe it. Now it just feels like we're making shit up to see what'll work. Like, what'll people believe? That sounds incomprehensible. She made us eat bananas out of sex workers' vaginas. Right now, the only place reporting on that is Yahoo News New Zealand. And then a couple of other pages that copy and pasted their statement. Oh, never mind. I, I, I see what went wrong. Now they're... I see. TMZ also talked about it. I had it sorted improperly. Huh. She 
She asked the host about the banana sex show where patrons eat bananas out of sex performers' vaginas. That's what I want to do. I need my potassium. Hmm. Okay. That can't be real. I guess it is. Uh, there's a few sources here. It seems like she's facing a lawsuit because of this as well. It was in 2019. It was a banana sex show. There's a Risa blanket, YOLO. <clears throat> Nicole and the Prime Vera and the Five Gifts of Scrim. There's some stuffle. <clears throat> There's some court documents you can read. It's all in there. Yikes. Oof. What time's the Rocket League tournament tomorrow? We play at 2 EST, I believe. Cancel culture has her by the ass. Man, I am so tired of that word having no meaning. It's not cancel culture. She's literally being sued. And people are talking about it and making fun of her for it. Like she's in a, like an actual lawsuit. This isn't just like they dug up some tweets from the past. This is a whole, a whole kit and caboodle's worth of lawsuits heading her way. I am very curious to see how she defends it. I want to know her side of the story. Because like I said, there is a lot here. No, she has not responded yet. Not to my knowledge. The tier one hurricane. When's the next God Slap drop? August 9th. So next week. Thanks to give some digital or the bits digital. No, I don't think she's gonna speak on it, to be honest. Not not in an actual legal matter. Her team will release a boilerplate statement about the rumors and their disappointment with all of the lies from former co-workers and then they'll handle it behind the scenes until it makes it to court and then everything becomes public. That's my guess. I don't think she's going to say or do anything. Not for something as high profile as this. There's some Pug, Remorse, Mini, Billy, Minecraft, and the Prime Young. There's some Sweetie. Her fans are already doing mental gymnastics to justify her behavior. Can't say I've seen any of that. It's not, like, surprising to hear, but I haven't seen it, so can't really speak on it.